is there really anything better than heavy deadlifts, med balls, and heavy ass split squats? Let's find out. Day 82, training to be the fittest dad on earth. Today we decided to mess around with our cluster deadlifts. This is two heavy deadlifts followed by a slow four to five second eccentric on the way down. You know when NFL commentators say, man, that guy can cut on a dime. This is what helps with that. Producing maximal force in minimal amount of time in a very controlled movement pattern. All of our primals this week have a three to four second controlled eccentric and these are our front rack split squats, my favorite squat variation. And would it really be a fittest ad on earth if I wasn't hitting heavy ass cleans? We're at about 75% of our one rep max and the words are violence and speed. Remember in athletics, it's about how fast you can move heavy weight, not just heavy weight. I've also been messing around with this row variation in our hypertrophy accessory movements. The band tension is much better than a cable in my opinion and really puts the lats in an advantageous position for activation. And due to nothing else but wanting variation, I have been substituting strict landmine presses for our regular push presses. Followed up by some accessory upper body and Tracy breaking every med ball I give her. Not to mention our athletes are getting stupid fast and these cupboards at our duplex were disgusting. Tune in each day to be the best version of yourself in all aspects of life and the fittest dad on earth.